Hello, cherries. Today, I present to you the cute, reckless silliness of a dragon girl. Imagine this world as another monster girl storyline, where creatures of all sorts go to the same high school. And in this grid, as some of my fellow nerds may already know, dragons have the habit of hoarding treasure. But what would happen if a female dragon while coming home from school saw the shiny thing on a human? Instead of taking the shiny thing, Miss Tankley took the entire human. And what if the human was also her classmate? Well, simply put you get a very awkward situation. <laughs> so to all my viewers who like clumsy awkwardness, I hope you like this. Enjoy! Shoot! Shoot! How can I be so stupid? I may be a dragon, but it doesn't mean I can pick up every shiny thing that I see and bring it home. Oh god, what should I do? Papa Dragon is going to kill me when he finds out I accidentally brought a human home. <sighs> Goodness, this is the worst thing that could have happened. <sighs> I guess, he's still not worse than that one time, when we almost accidentally ate the neighbor's daughter. Wait... That just... My... Work? I mean... He looks like a nerd no one cares about. I doubt anyone will even miss him. <laughs> oh, but... Humans taste so watery and... Bonny. Ugh. Do I really have to do this? I really rather not. And raw human is such a mess. I mean, I'm sure a father wouldn't mind. <laughs> uh, but uh, come on, snip out of it. He may be a classmate, but he's just a worthless lesser life form. You are a dragon, a proud dragon. Just eat the goddamn human and no one will even notice. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Oh. Well, he is so gross looking. I can still remember the awful taste of the neighbor's daughter when I went feral. She tasted so bad that even in my feral that I couldn't swallow her down. <sighs> If I don't get it off in quickly, Papa Dragon is going to come on and ground me for a week. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> you know what? He may look gross as food, but for a nerd, he doesn't look that bad. <laughs> He's kinda cute. <gasps> I know! I will just make him my boyfriend. I mean, he looks like a total otaku would. I doubt he has any female experience. All I gotta do is tell him I invited him home because I liked him. <laughs> no way would an inferior life for him human reject a lovely dragon like me. Ah, yes. This might actually work. And if he rejects me, well, barbecue for dinner doesn't sound too bad. So... How do I seduce him? Huh? Why am I even thinking about this? I am a dragon, and a beautiful one. He'll most likely just say yes instantly upon hearing of her. Oh goodness, he's waking up. Oh god, oh god. Oh, uh, <laughs> Hi. You're awake. And so, don't freak out. I may have saw your shiny thing that you have red around your neck. Which, um, <laughs> kinda activated my dragon instinct to, well, kidnap you? <laughs> well, us dragons kinda have a hoarding instinct for treasure. Some prefer gold, some prefer diamonds and gems. Some will just... take anything shiny, really. 
As for why this instant exists, that remains up for debate. Uh huh. But the point is, it was a total accident, and I am genuinely sorry. If you could be a, uh, um, <laughs> tell nobody about this. How about I date you and we call it even? I kinda realize you are actually pretty cute for an inferior creature. And well, perhaps having a human plaything as my boyfriend wouldn't be so bad. So, what do you say? You list our life form? Want to become the coolest guy in school by dating an awesome dragon girl? <laughs> I promise, everyone will be jealous of you. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't say no. Trust me, it is a win-win for us both. I'm glad you're smart enough to take the offer. Barbecue sounds nice, but I think it's time for me to have a boyfriend. Huh? Oh, <laughs> nothing. I mean, you had a hot bag and girlfriend. Good deal if you ask me. And I, uh... Papa! My father who just got home. <laughs> Explain to him. Then we just started dating, and then you promised to protect me for all eternity. Also, it's dragon custom. You must offer your finest charm to him, so he can give his blessing for our mating. <laughs> Remember though, if you fail to impress him as a male, he will most likely. But don't worry about that. I'll make sure to be the one who eats you. <laughs> Sounds better, right? Consider yourself lucky, human. Good luck. Mwah.